Hi guys, Marieta here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I actually want to share with you some relevant updates that are going to apply to EB2 National Interest Waiver Green Cards. These are typically the green cards for entrepreneurs. And also I want to focus on the recent update for students, particularly OPT. Now, there are people who ask me recently, how can I go from a student to business owner, investor. So for those who are wondering, and actually for those who want to take the exact same path that I took myself, how I went from a student to E2 investor and then green card via entrepreneurship, I call it EB2 national interest waiver, uh, which I will give you the update in this video. First things first, I do want to uh, actually tell you to watch my story because in this playlist, you simply go to my YouTube channel, scroll down, and you're going to find a playlist called My Story, from F1 to E2 to EB2 National Interest Waiver. So here are a couple of videos uh, that I made for you guys. Uh, and as you can see, here is three part videos where I was able to break down for you guys how I went from a student to investor. Then how I went from E2 investor to green card. And this green card is the EB2 national interest green card, national interest waiver green card that I want to talk about today. And I want to give you update <clears throat> because this is actually great news specifically for entrepreneurs. But before we talk about the green card, I want to talk about the recent update when it comes to uh, OPT students. So the good news is that they are extending the OPT up to 36 months. 36 months to complete optional practical training. If you are a student uh, earning bachelor's degree, master degree or doctorate degree in certain STEM fields, your OPT will be extended up to 36 months. So this is amazing because 36 months will give you pretty long time, you know, to be able to either change your status from, uh, from, from, uh, from, from that OPT to actually uh, H1B or possibly green card through employment. Or if you want to be an entrepreneur like I did, uh, you can go from F1, actually OPT to E2 visa, right? And eventually you can do the EB2 national interest waiver path, exactly what I've done myself. Now, just so you know, the EB2 national interest waiver, I do have specific playlists just on this topic. If you are interested, you can go there. Here we go. Green card for entrepreneurs. You can absolutely watch the playlist because I break down all the details that you need to know if you want to apply for EB2 national interest waiver, right? Uh, it is pretty strict green card category. I'm not going to lie to you. The reason it's difficult is because it's very subjective and uh, it's not black and white. It's not that straightforward. However, um, what is good about this recent update is that um, here it is actually national interest waivers for certain immigrant categories with exceptional abilities in their field of work. So basically, in order for you to get that national interest waiver and not, you don't need actually employer for that, uh, you can do it without employer. Here you can see that. That's exactly what I've done myself. And you can waive the job requirement and you don't need perm, right? You can certainly do that if you qualify, if you're exceptional in the field or if you have master degree or advanced degree or you're a member of profession. And on top of that, you meet the additional three prong test, which I am breaking down in that playlist that I recommended. However, the recent update is that here it is. USCIS policy update clarifies how the national interest waiver can be used for persons with advanced degree in STEM field, okay, and entrepreneurs, as well as the significance of letters from governmental and quasi-governmental entities. So really what is this what is this about is that they're extending that to STEM fields, right? And more of you will have opportunity to apply for national interest waiver. If you're an entrepreneur, certainly you can definitely do that. And people always ask me how I done it, right? So it's a combination of things. But let me tell you 
something that is, um, I, in my opinion, was something that was adding a huge value was not just that I was a tourney, not just that I actually invested and I brought millions of dollars to the US economy over the years because I've been helping each two investors. And of course that I am member of profession. I am licensed attorney. I have advanced degree from United States University. But also that my work as an attorney is not just the work of attorney, but it's also educational because I'm actually running my YouTube channel and I am influencer in my field. Certainly that was something that was adding value. So if you are influencer, maybe you have a significant um, you know, amount of subscribers on your YouTube channel. Maybe you have a uh, amount of subscribe, a significant amount of subscribers on your Uh, on your Instagram account and you are serious influencer in your niche, you could qualify for EB2 National Interest Waiver. So these are great news, guys. Um, Like I suggested, go ahead, check out those playlists, my story here, as well as the playlist concerning EB2 National Interest Waiver, which is actually this playlist here. And if you need my help, you can book a consultation. The link to book it is going to be below this video. And other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye.